Hey y'all, Irix guy here. Now you may uh, you may laugh at me because you may think this video is kind of elementary, uh, but if you have not wall mounted a TV before, you may appreciate this video. So what I'm doing, I'm using a universal mount, and you can find a link within this video's description to a mount that uh, that's perfect for this TV. Now what you're going to want to do in some of these. And you can find a link within this video's description to the to the type screw I'm using. But it's an M6 M6-1.0 by 30 millimeter. Because as you can see there on this Chang Hong 42 inch LED TV, it's a little bit recessed. So your typical shorter screw will not work with this TV. And that's actually been a pain point. Uh, that many uh, fellow Chang Hong owners have encountered, but it's it's definitely not something that that should uh, should pro prohibit you from buying this TV because it really is an awesome TV. A lot of bang for your buck here with this. So I just I took that off so this thing can slide up and down so I can get the screw in. Just going to be two screws, one at the top, one at the bottom. Now, if you get these screws, these are, like I said, they're M6s, 30 millimeters. Uh, if you get them that have, um, that have a Phillips head type top, that's fine. Mine, I've got to use a uh, little doohickey right here, see? One of these things. Socket. You see, it doesn't have doesn't have a screw tip on it where you can use a screwdriver. So we're going to go ahead and get uh, get this going. I've already done this side as a point of reference. Obviously you're going to want to make sure that everything's lined up properly. Now with this particular mount there's a hook here and there's a hook here. You're going to want that at the top of your TV because it's going to hook on and then once it's hooked on and adjusted then you screw these in just to, to prevent it from popping up. So we're going to line this up. And then I'm also going to put the other one in before I tighten anything. And I may be wrong, you can check the link within this video's description where you can order this Chang Hong TV as well as find more information, but I think this is a 200 by 200 millimeter Visa style backing on it. But like I said, check the link within this video's description to make sure I'm correct with that statement. So now I'm just lifting this up so I can get to, to this under here. Actually, I'm gonna take that out so I can lift it up further. easier to start it with my finger. This really is hard to get to. Yep, I'm starting it with my finger. I'm going to do the same with this one. Now, if you've got a washer or something you can put in there, that may be optimal. Uh, the heads on these were big enough, so it's not a problem for me with this mount. But, like I said, that would probably be optimal. You don't want to over tighten. You don't want to break the back of your TV or anything. So those fit in there perfectly. Uh, now I'm going to reassemble this middle mounting piece here.
And if your mount that you're using is pretty much like this, and you want to make sure that these hand adjustable knobs are on the outside, towards the outsides of the TV, because you can use those to, once you have it mounted, to angle the TV up or down, depending upon what type of uh, viewing angle you prefer. I'm going to go ahead and put this piece right here back in so it's ready. So see, now you've got the, the pieces on the back that are actually going to hold the Chang Hong 42 inch LED TV on the wall. Uh, what we're going to need to do next, and I'm going to reposition this camera so you can see it, the Chang Hong out of the box comes with the mount that would go to the base if you were using if you were using it in a tabletop type setup which I'm not I'm using it uh, <laughs> I'm gonna wall mount it so what I'm gonna do is get a Phillips head screwdriver and we're gonna take that off so what we'll do now is just take these screws out I mean, you could technically leave this on there, but it's going to look silly having a part of a base for a TV, you know? You're not using it with a base, you're using it wall mounted. What I would recommend doing, I would recommend putting this piece somewhere where you shouldn't lose it. And then that way if you ever wanted to table mount your TV or if you wanted to sell it, you've got the pieces that would enable yourself or someone else to do that. And that of course includes the really nice base that came with it. I mean, if you were mounting this on a, on a flat surface, this is a really nice base. So now let's go over to the wall, and I'm going to demonstrate how to put this on. Okay, so this is the wall-mounted portion of the uh, Universal TV mount. Again, you can check this video's description for a link to where you can order a, a Universal TV mount. But this is, this is going to be used in conjunction with the Chang Hong. 42 inch LED TV. Now the wires that are running out of the wall, uh, those were wires from my previous TV. So two of those I'll actually pull back through, the power cord and that uh, computer type connector. Now the Chang Hong, it has an attached power cord. So you're actually gonna mount the TV and then you're gonna have to fish the wire down through your wall, unless you're just not running it through the wall. And, uh, and then, and then you know, plug it in. But what I'm gonna do is keep those wires that are there because I'm gonna use one of them to pull it down through the wall to the other thing. So gently pick up your Chang Hong TV. This is a really, uh, really careful process here. You don't wanna damage your TV while you're mounting it. So again, once you pick it up, make sure that, uh, that those mounts you put on the back seem to be secure because once you put it on the wall, it's going to become a go, no-go type situation. So you'll see those hooks. See, now it's hooked on. But 
What you then need to do is center it, and then you're going to want to adjust your angle. Do you want it facing down like it is now? Do you want it uh, facing more up? So let's see, let's get this centered here. And if you want to make this easier, what you could do is mark your wall before you put it on. And that way you can tell where the center is. But I, I pretty much centered mine with the, with the speaker above it. But it's hard to tell right now if it's centered because it's slanted down. So the next thing I'm going to do is tighten those. Let's see. I'm going to tighten those thumb screws so it doesn't pop up. And then we're going to adjust the angle because I want it angled up. I don't want it angled down. See, I want it more like that. It seems to be centered now. So I'm tightening the screws on the bottom. In case it's knocked, it shouldn't pop up. And that's upright, so that's pretty much it's pretty much flat with the wall, so it's not angled down. But now I've just got it. The hard part's reaching up in there and doing the the screws on the bottom because they're really, really like super hard to get to if you've got a big wrist. So I'm probably just gonna tighten them with my finger. <laughs> All those do, I mean, gravity is obviously going to keep, should keep the TV on the wall, unless you're uh, mounting it on a boat or something. So realistically, if I just tighten these enough, yeah, with my finger, it should be okay. So this TV is not in a position it's gonna get knocked around or anything.
Now I'm going to grab the power cable that I had, and you may want to check and see if uh, see if this is something you can do because I'm not sure if you can always run a a cable through the wall. It may just have to go straight down to the power. But I'm running mine through the wall, so that's the way I've got mine set up. I'm going to pull down this other video cable first, the one I said was not needed. So I got this unwanted video cable out. Uh, this was something that went along with my nine-year-old plasma TV that died. Now I'm going to pull the nine-year-old plasma TV's cable through, but I'm going to securely attach this to that with a zip tie. just to make the job easier. So now I've got the unwanted power cable out, and I've got the power cable for this new TV accessible. So really, 
What I have to do now is connect the receiver, and that's not a TV specific job. So you can go ahead and connect your HDMI. Uh, HDMI is on this side, it looks like. So I'll connect it to the back of the TV. It's going to use HDMI 1. and connect the other end of the receiver. So that's how to mount a chain hauling TV on the wall. And you may want to take off this protective tape. I thought that was a nice touch that they put that on there. It's got this little energy sticker that says estimated yearly energy cost is eleven dollars. That's pretty cool. It's got this little energy star sticker. I'm gonna take that off. And that is how to wall mount a Chang Hong 42 inch TV. So be sure to subscribe if you haven't already, youtube.com forward slash iRickScout and share this video and any of my videos with others. And again, check the link within this video's description. You can find a link to order this Chang Hong online as well as the TV mount and other items that I was talking about during the installation. Y'all have a good day.